stunning. Uh, my name is Sunny Chase, and I have a radio show called Singing in the Rain, The Power of One on UBS. And um, one of the things I do on my show is uh, try at least to myth bust. And so when I found out that Ron Amatron is, that is one of the things that he does, although he calls it myth breaking, so I kind of dig that too. Uh, so he's going to bring some very, very out of the box and very interesting and intriguing things for you guys today. And he's like ready to go. He's already started this, uh, I think, an hour ago in your mind. And in the energy, you know, he's drawing all these people in because there's so many choices and places to be. And all of you guys are here. So let's welcome Ron Amtron. Okay, so I'm going all different directions. Uh, what I want to do here uh, is a little brief. Uh, uh, the introduction here is we're going to be doing fun replica bodies here. We take implants out of you, out of your eyes, out of your ears. So you're on timelines. And timelines are darkness. Timelines are mind energy. So what you have is you're living in an alien uh, created hologram. And this may not even be real. Uh, source energy you know, as far as the planet energy is concerned. So, uh, talk about holograms. <coughs> the most common thing is that if you have ever like lost your keys, okay, misplaced something, and all of a sudden it appeared, well that was a abduction. So you have been abducted. You don't always see the you know the scenario that you hear on TV or or people having abductions where they see a little gray man in the room at night and the room lights up and they look out the window and they see a spaceship Ron, could you, could you hold, we, we can't. Yeah. No, too much going on. Too much going on? Yeah. One, two, one, two. We all just got a dope. You got a dope, yeah. Hello, everybody here? Don't stop. Okay. Don't <laughs> want to move here. Well, that's what it is. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so the abduction process uh, happens instantly because you're turned off and on, off and on, off and on, and you think that you're in linear time and that you never left here, right? So that's your consciousness. And you could have been abducted a thousand times since we started talking right now. Because you are, you know, where are you when you're not here? Okay, you know, where, you know, if you poke your finger here and you go, yeah, I'm here. But in between the pokes, where are you? So those are timelines. And so you're living in an alien-created reality here. And it's not source energy. So to define the two, the source energy, and I'll do the mind of heart drop for you so you can see what it is like to be in source energy. And you can't think your way into it. Uh, a lot of people, they, you know, with meditations and different things, they'll use your mind to go somewhere and then you finally think you found peace and you're not even in peace. You're in the darkness of peace. So I use the word, mind, uh, uh, you know, the light of the darkness. So the light of the darkness is where you go to and it looks like light, you don't know the difference. And there's always an agenda, there's always cause and effect relationships. And source energy is no such thing. You're in the now, period. No remembrance of the past. So people ask me, say, Ron, after we do the ascension, if we do that, am I going to remember my family members, my dog, my cat, and everything else? No, it doesn't exist. Because you are who you are. And that's all that you have is who you are. And if you had a memory of the past, then you're in duality. Okay, so the next thing is, what I talk about, people say, I talk about aliens a lot, okay? I got kind of drug into that, not wanting to, but that's where I live now, with fighting aliens. So they say, well, Ron, is there good aliens? They heard about the Pleiadians, they heard about this, and they heard about that, and everything else, you know. And uh, well, if you heard about them, they're in duality too. The source energy never promotes itself. And so source energy has no memory. It doesn't live in the past, it doesn't live in the future, it's just strictly in the now. So if you heard about these beings, these aliens, or whatever you call them, they're in duality. And they're in the pecking order too. So what I'm do now is the mind of heart drop to show you what you can do to get into source energy with your spirit. You never want to go outside of yourself. If you go outside of yourself, then you're in duality. Then you're in the alien mind control, the timelines, the programs, everything else. So 
I'll do it for you, and uh, we can do it together. Uh, what you want to do is command your spirit. I'll just tell you what we're going to be doing. You want to command your spirit out loud to take the thoughts in your head and drop them down to your heart. It's very, very simple, 20 seconds, and then you count uh, from 10 to 1, drop down, and you can actually feel your thoughts moving, that your spirit's working for you when you command it to do this. If you try to think about your spirit doing it, then you're in darkness. You probably have people, people reading uh, or telling you in different books, well, you want to become heart-centered, you want to live in your heart. Well, that's all mind energy stuff. So when you live in your mind, you, you can go into the mind of the heart, but you're in darkness. So here we go. Uh, you want to say out loud, and I'll command my spirit. And I'll command my spirit. Take the thoughts in my head. Take the thoughts in my head. And drop them into my heart. Drop them into my heart. Now we'll just count from ten to one backwards. We'll do it three times. So here we go. Dropping down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, if you notice right now, you can't think. So try to think of something. There's no thoughts there. So you have to step into darkness to get thoughts. And so this exercise you can do anytime you wish. Let's do it out loud or whisper. Otherwise, you're in mind energy, and your spirit will not respond to mind energy. That's darkness. If you get hurt, your spirit leaves you. If you think, your spirit's not listening to you. So you have to command it to listen. That makes sense to all of you? Yes. So, the next way to look at this here is uh, people who are doing uh, cultural channeling and bringing in angels and whatever, you know, whatever they think is out there. It, that's really aliens coming to them to give them information. Uh, I, I've been told that uh, the initial New Age movement in the 70s was actually a program that started by the CIA to get people to do different things. So they created these mind control programs. That's physical here, okay, to, to bring to people. And so the underground, uh, those agencies uh, uh, working with aliens normally are about 100 years ahead of us in technology. So, oh, any questions so far? Would you repeat just the command? Yeah, and I'll command mm -hmm. my spirit to take the thoughts of my head and drop them into my heart. Okay. It's very, very simple. If you can make it shorter, that'll work too. Okay. So anything that happens with source energy is instant. Uh, so what I'll do is some basic clearing here for people. I want you to think of an emotional issue and then we'll do water charging after this, okay? So think of uh, an emotional issue that you have, and I'll clear that one issue away from you. So, everybody have something? Okay, here we go. It's gone. And look at it now, it'll be pretty much eliminated. And we'll do another one. Ready? And another one. And another one. And another one. So is your body's relaxing more? Have the tension being released? Okay, I'll do five more. Ready? You have to think of something. Remember, you're, you're, when you're thinking, you're bringing up the energy that's in darkness in you, right? It's stored in your DNA, that's darkness. And that makes you do your self-fulfilling prophecy of whatever your event's going to be, right? Like attracts like, so you're going to be bringing in the law of cause and effect with your condition and drawing people around you with your condition, and also that's going to reinforce you. So when I clear that, right away you have peace energy there. That's why you don't feel anything. You look at me, that's gone, or, you know, been there, done that, so what, you know? So here we go, ready? Next one. Next one. Next one. And next one. So, how do you feel? Lighter. Lighter, okay? Less pressure in your body? Okay, let's do some physical uh, energies now. So anybody have any pain in their body? Okay, or if not, past pain. I mean, if you don't get rid of it, it's still with you. Okay, even though you may not be suffering right now. So here we go. 
So if you don't have pain right now, think about, you know, maybe when you're 10 years of age, you fell off your bicycle or something and you hurt yourself. Well, that pain's with you. So we're going to release that from you. If you have pain right now, we'll do that too. Here we go. Ready? Think of the issue. Okay, again. Pain's a little bit different than the emotions. So I'll just do some counting. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. How are you feeling? Better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do it one more time here. We'll count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So counting is a command. Okay, that's why I'm counting. I also use the word stronger, so if you hear it in my radio programs, and you'll be hearing me do that quite often. I can't really do this on the air because you won't hear it. <laughs> so, so most of my older uh, videos that I have on YouTube and stuff, and I have probably a bunch I haven't even put up, but uh, I've been just doing the clicking easier now because it's sort of counting backwards. It takes longer to do that, and it's the same thing if I do my fingers here. Uh, let's see, I uh, want to do a, a fear clearing. Oh, yeah. Okay, so thank you, one of your fears. And here we go. Think of another one. Now, if your body jerks, some people will go up, you know, or they'll shake or have a little quiver or something. That's because that energy was blocked a whole bunch and just got released from you. And that's normal. You may want to yawn. So here we go. Another fear. Okay. Another fear. Another fear. And another fear. Okay. And how does your fear feel? Like your a little more standard. Remember, you're getting peace in place of the fear. Uh, how about anxiety? Are you anxious? Okay, here we go. Think of another time that you've been anxious. Another time. Another time. There. Uh, anything else we could do? Trauma? Okay, here we go. Then we'll do birth trauma. Okay? So here we go, trauma. Just keep thinking of your trauma or other traumas. Okay, now we'll do the trauma that uh, you had when you were being born. This will be interesting. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'll, I'll just count for, for you people to sit there and kind of relax. So here we go. Releasing physical birth trauma. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. How's your body feeling? Mm -hmm. uh, want to stand up and kind of move just a little bit? You find that your body might be a little different right now. Kind of shake a little bit and wiggle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any changes? Anybody's back uh, kind of popping or their knees or? Yeah. Neck. Had a pain for your whole life, and it's gone now. <laughs> okay, you can sit down. Let's do our water charging. So, everybody have a glass of water? No. If not, uh, maybe you can run out real quick and get some outside, and then we'll, uh, we'll do that when you come back. Any questions so far? The drugs, so you <laughs> hurt, uh, you know, you meditate. So what do you think, you know, well, I'll talk about meditation. So I'm sure the meditators in here. And so you're really meditating, I would think, I don't know, but I think that you're meditating because you want to get yourself maybe more centered and to try to find peace. So I'll just show you how to do that in 20 seconds. And you can be walking around. You don't have to sit there in some room with a, uh, you know, a CD on or whatever telling you what to do. So if you're doing that, then you're in mind energy. 
So as they tell you to go up and down stairs, or go to the crystal room, or go here, go there, while you're traveling there in mind energy, and you're on timelines. And who controls those timelines? The darkness, aliens. So you don't want to go on timelines. And then who's protecting your body, or what's protecting your body when you're not here, nothing. You just gave your spirit permission to leave. So it's, it's gone. And uh, it may come back with less of itself. So it may have been uh, you know, put on a food chain someplace or being used to manifest other life forms from darkness with that little glimmer of light in it. Maybe in a fabricated body someplace, artificial intelligence, and they're using a little bit of your spirit to do that. Yes? What's your take on remote viewing? Uh, I guess it depends how you're doing it. You're still, you know, looking at things. Uh, uh, I really don't have that much of a comment on that. Okay? Uh, and you're on a timeline. It's true. So it depends what time you, timeline you're looking at. All timelines are real. Okay? So even though you may think that, uh, you know, somebody said something, you know, we'll just say that one of the speakers here had a, a lecture and they're saying, oh, you know, I got this great information from wherever the beyond all, and California's going to sink into the ocean in five hours. Well, it is. It may not happen on your timeline, but it did happen, or will happen. Okay? Now, I'll continue with that. So let's say that California, uh, we'll say it sunk into the ocean uh, yesterday, right? Uh, on some timeline. Were you there in that location? Were you living there? You could have been living there on a timeline, not even knowing about it. And you wake up this morning and you go, man, you know, I have a hard time breathing, you know, I feel like I got drowned you know, yesterday, last night. Well, it's true. That happened to you. Because all timelines are real. It just depends where you are and if you're on that timeline. And you can, uh, in a sense, working with your spirit, just stay in the now as much as you can and also bring forward the timeline that... Uh, might be beneficial for you. So I don't like to really talk about that because a lot of people, they'll try to take a shortcut to get something. And then they may start working with the law of cause and effect. The law of cause and effect is darkness. It's the alien agenda. They use the, they developed that in the film Contact, where the pod dropped down, took three seconds, and she went off for 24 hours in another timeline. Uh-huh. And they wanted to make you see the difference between our timeline and something else and back and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's hard for us yeah, to wrap up. Yeah, we have a lot of movies on timelines now. Yeah. Yes, gentlemen here. Yeah. Um, so talking of cause and effect, or is that kind of also alluding to karmic law as well? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So karmic law, that's darkness. Cause of record is darkness. Why? Why? Yeah. It's mind energy. No, it's it's experiences you've had. That's still darkness. Why? Because you, you know about it. What's wrong Light only works in the now. Good experiences. Light only works in the now. There's no memory in light. So when you're reading Akashic records, okay, then you're being brought back. Once you find out about where you've been, what you've been doing, then you're brought back into timelines. Now you're reinforcing that original timeline of darkness, and now you can be on it over again. But that's responsibility, just knowing of, of learning. You don't have to learn anything. No. Great question. Why are you here? Why? You came here once upon a time, uh, and the aliens created your body. That's why you all look a little different, right? Different hair color, different body weights, you know, different. Uh, you know, skin complexions, different heights, and everything else. So well, you're all from different alien races that put you down here. And they took away a lot of their, your intelligence, we'll just call it DNA, uh, so that you were not as smart as they were, so they can control you. So they put in implants in you. Uh, they put in all different types of things, created mind energy. The source energy doesn't have a memory. That's why we did the mind to heart drop to prove that to you. And uh, all of a sudden now, you're living here because you're stuck here. You got stuck in mind energy, never connected to your spirit. You got told all these spiritual laws and garbage. And uh, you believed it. You believed the lie. 
what you've probably learned in this lifetime so far is going to lie to you. Okay? And you start searching and searching and searching, uh, trying to find the truth, and the truth is inside of you. The teachings of Jesus are very, very simple. Go within. Period. It's all you really have to look at. Go within. But you can't do it mentally. You need to command yourself to get your thoughts to go within. Otherwise, your mind energy. Once you go within, then you have your spirit energy with you. And then, then you can manifest from that in source energy. Rather than using, like, you know, the law of cause and effect to, to do that for you. And more things are available. Now, you are in spirit energy with your spirit when you're creative. Your spirit's here to create. So if you're, you know, drawing uh, pictures or something and time kind of stops for you, well, then you're in source energy. Okay? Now, when you, and you notice that when you're doing it, time stops. Okay? Your time stops. The clock is still moving. And then all of a sudden you uh, maybe snap out of that, and then you kind of look and see what you did, and then you go, well, that's kind of nice. And, uh, you know, whatever it is, it's good. You may, wanna, you may not like it because you're judging it, and then at that point you put darkness into it. Okay? But still, when, when time is stopped for you and you're having a good time, whatever you're doing, then you're in source energy with your spirit in creative. So you're in it all the time, you just don't know about it. And your spirit will not really communicate to you that it may be color of flower green or purple or whatever it needs to be. You just be doing it naturally. It's working through you. So your spirit doesn't necessarily communicate to you with words, but it will guide you. Make sense to you? Okay. Uh, any questions? Where did you learn this? I'm in the moment. When did you become in the moment? I've always been in the moment. I live out of your time reality. I'm not in time. Okay, so you're in time to me. So are, you, are you dyslexic? I was, yes, uh huh? Well, you, if you were, you are. I, I healed that. You can deal with it, but yeah. you still are. Yeah. That's why you're outside of time. No, I'm outside because I don't live in, I don't live in time. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yes? Does the uh, life, or the, when, you, when they say people die and they go through this life review, going to the light, is that in time? That's in time. So, so the life review that you're going through, okay? so first of all, the aliens brought you here, they gave you the whole agenda of reincarnation. So you have to come back, okay? Now, why do you have to come back? Because they want to reuse you over again. So when you see your life going before your eyes on a near-death experience, or you die and they say, oh, you did this here and did that, and you see your lifetime. Well, the aliens have to deprogram your spirit. So they stole your spirit at that point, okay? They have to deprogram it because it's all contaminated, full of darkness. And after they decontaminate it, then you can pop back into a body here. So you're useless to them without spirit energy. So they make the illusion of whatever you believe in. If you, uh, we'll just say that we live on a planet right now and uh, uh, the, the, the holy essence energy, whatever that would be, I don't want to use the word God energy, but we'll say that would be like a rabbit, right? So all of a sudden, everybody's praying to rabbits. So you'd go to your past life review, through the white light tunnel, and there's the main guru rabbit that everybody prays to. So it's, it's whatever your belief system is. So here, typically, if you're Christian, it's Jesus, you know, whatever other religion there is. Maybe it was different, uh, you know, 3,000 years ago, they have some type of deity that they pray to or whatever, or something sacred. That's what you're going to be seeing, because you're in that system. So you're seeing that on a timeline. So they bounce you back in here into a body. And you do have free choice. Uh, as far as who your parents are going to be because you want to use that DNA to work with, with your spirit in that lifetime. So you do have a little bit of free choice, but you're still stuck here because you took on the wrong belief system and started thinking. So that's... Yes? Um, do you know about this person who is going by the name Cobra? No. Okay. The site is 2012. Fourth of last spot, 
And he's talking about all the things that you're talking right now. So I believe that he's a rigid one. Okay, that's good. So and he's talking a lot about Archons who did all this. Um, you know about Archons, right? Mm -hmm. Archons. So he's talking about all this mm -hmm. stuff and he's. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff out there. <laughs> Let's draw water. So get your glass of water, and I'll just energize it for you. We'll have your spirit do it, so your spirit will give you your water, what you need right now, and it'll probably last for the day. Remember, you're changing all the time, right? So it'll give you what you need. So here we go. I'll count to ten to energize your water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, drink some water. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about the 2,000-year barcode? Yeah. Uh, on my website, I have a 2,000-year barcode. What that does is take away the negativity that you have, have, have put on you, okay, in your genetics and also your spirit for not understanding what light is, to suck you more into mind energy. And uh, you clear that off of you and you feel wonderful. So I go back 2,000 years at 100 years per cycle. <coughs> so we could talk about uh, also uh, 2012. So December 21st, 2012, thereabouts. It's actually started probably around October. But that's when the people on the planet here, the humans, got abducted. Major abduction, OK? And uh, what got returned uh, around the first of the year was clones. So we're living with about a 90% clone energy, maybe even higher right now than what we had before. So somehow, and how do you tell a clone? Okay, that's the first thing. Do they look different? No, typically not. They bleed, yes. The clone will have very little life force energy. Uh, at least it'll, you won't be able to recognize it, let's put it that way, okay? Uh, the next thing is the clones, uh, when they're brand new, they can't give change. They don't know about directions. Uh, you want to describe your uh, situation like a month ago, Terry? Yeah, um, I had a, um, a, a phone call to uh, an insurance company, and the person I spoke to, um, I was trying to make a payment on, on the phone, and uh, she asked for some identifying information. I gave her all of the identifying information that I have, and that should have been online. And she said none of it matched. And so at that point, I knew that there was something that was wrong. So I said, I, I want to speak to a supervisor. And she went into a, uh, like a, a kind of a robotic thing, like, I can, oh, I can process your payment now. And she kept saying that same thing over and over without any intonation, like there was anything wrong. And I kept asking for a supervisor. And I said, something's wrong here. You don't have the right information. And she just kept going through that same thing. I kept repeating it, saying, I would like to speak with a supervisor. And she was just very flat. I can process your payment now. It sounded like, it sounded like a recording. And there was no emotion. She wasn't, like she wasn't doing anything wrong. And then at some point, uh, after she went and I finally convinced her to go get a supervisor, uh, then she came back and said, it's going to be 45 minutes to get a supervisor. She said, I can process your payment now. I said, there's something wrong. You don't have any of the right information. She goes, oh, no, there must have been a misunderstanding. All of it is correct. I can process your payment now. Wow. <laughs> and then as I started giving her the payment information, the credit card info, she had it all backwards. Every time she would repeat something back, it would be completely flipped around. So what I had to do, then I realized, oh, I'm speaking with somebody who's, who's very remedial, like a clone. So I started saying, OK, I gave them just very small bits of information. And then I, af after each time, I, I'd say, repeat it back to me. And then once she started doing that, and she got the little pieces, she got a, she's, I could see it starting to click. And then she started to get everything right after that. But she needed, it was like she needed training on how to do that particular function. And then at the end of it, everything was fine. I got the, the payment process. It took about 45 minutes to get it all done. But <laughs> so, so you're saying that some other entity inhabited that body? No. No, the, the physical body of that person, right, was abducted, okay. put in probably a can, okay, for food for the aliens, okay, and they created the body that looked like that person, 
as an artificial intelligent body, brought it down here with a program in it. But the programs are very limited. And that's why Terry had a problem, and that's what you know, you're probably finding that too when you see people. Now, a clone normally would be smiling all the time. You could tell them anything. You could say, oh man, my dog just got run over by a car. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you know, they'll, they'll be smiling all the time. They won't say it. No. But, you know, they, let's, Anybody have that experience or something? You, know, you just wonder, is this person real or not? <laughs> Wouldn't that just be a computer, what you have? Huh? We're trying to use voice, no, no, no. voice computers. No, no, no. You're, you're missing the bowl. It's a clone. 90% of the people here are well, why, why out. are we doing all these robots? It's not we. It's not we. It's, it's, the aliens are bringing the technologies here, and the humans that are here, and or the artificial intelligent, maybe more advanced robots, <coughs> clones, okay, but are bringing those, are those forward. No, no, you're missing the boat. You're, we have, we're living in a cloned reality. The reason why they want the clones here is because they smile a lot and they can follow instructions. They don't want humans to think. And so they're taking out the humans. So look at all the sci-fi movies. I mean, you probably visualize one or just think of one that you saw where... The zombie kind of thing? The zombies too, yeah. You know, they live, you know, with the sunglasses. <laughs> well, that's an old, old one, but, you know, Tom Cruise had a couple of them out, you know, where he had a go back and go into timelines. I don't know what it was called, I don't remember, like repeat or something or whatever. And he had a, he kept going back on the timeline to make Inception. things correct. What Inception. was it? Inception. Inception, yeah. Hmm. So are 90% of the people in the room here clones? <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't, I think I have a lot of humans in here. Okay, because, because you kind of understand what I'm talking about. A clone won't know much about anything. Well, I wouldn't have thought of it this way, but when I, I was rushing to get to a lecture, started at 11, so I was a little late, I thought I'll get in there, it's fine. I went to park, and they go, no, go down there, because it's full. And then I get there, and they go, no, go down here, and the other person goes, no, it's back there. And then I went, I went all the way around, meantime all this time going, when I went to the guy, and he goes, so, well, there's no parking, he goes, well, over there. And you go, they're over there. He goes, around there. Could <laughs> <laughs> you be like, uh, you know, these are kind of big streets, like a little more specific, like which streets it on? Over there. Oh. So I, I would never go, okay, Mr. Clone. What you're saying, I kind of go, well, uh, yeah, because we're all going to take different types of people. Some people are just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 If you look at some of the bombings that took place uh, on the internet a couple months ago, we'll say, or even maybe now, if you see anything where they have a bomb going, exploding, and then you see that cloud coming up, and normally it's a dark cloud, right? You know, the debris and everything else. Take your computer and keep hitting start, pause, you know, start and pause, you know, and you're going to see alien faces in that cloud, okay? And they look very scary. So the cloud is just forming around the face or the body of the alien. Look at hurricanes, clouds of hurricanes, tornadoes. Those are all alien ships. So most of you are older in here. You know, the, uh, in the old, older days, when you saw a movie, like maybe a black and white movie, uh, you saw round puffy clouds. Okay. You don't see those very often, maybe once or twice a month. They're all flat bottom clouds. Those are alien ships. So they're up, you know, what, 10, 20,000 feet. And they're also in our reality here. Wait, wait, go, go back a second. We, old, old movies, we see a cloud. Old, yeah, yeah, have you ever seen, yeah, remember the old brown puppy clouds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, what do you see now? Yeah. 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 I was gonna say that. I'm not talking about chemtrails. I'm talking about the clouds. You know, uh, at least you're awake on chemtrails. 
You don't know what chemtrails are, right? Yeah. Or you've heard about them. I would say you know what they are. You see them all the time. Well, yeah. is this, okay. So, what, what are you addressing, talking about? Is this worldwide? So it's not like we can go to some areas that are a little more pristine where yeah, there, the there could be a real cloud someplace, you know, but, you know, around us, you know, here in the States, I guess, they're the worst place to go to from my travels that I've had going through the, uh, oh, maybe through Utah and going out to Wyoming, you know, I went to a, a, a workshop uh, in, uh, uh, let's say, it's where PayPal is. Uh, check out a PayPal building. Uh, anyway, it's one of those what states up there. Oh, all those up there is alien ships. You know, hundreds of them. So all you see is flat bottom ships and, you know, they have the domes on them sometimes and they're long just all over the place. So, uh, let, let's do, uh, not to get this a question. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask your opinion about uh, people that see lights and fireballs <coughs> and uh, what they suppose are UFOs because they are unidentified. What, what do you think? What are they? I, I don't know unless I saw one, okay? But there's a lot of artificial intelligence stuff happening to make you think that there's something out there. I would say that most of the uh, physical UFOs that you're seeing are actually manufactured here uh, by the different governments, okay? Uh, are, by physical, are you talking about light ships or are you talking about like a You won't see a light building? ship. So where do the light bulbs end? Oh, 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 those type? Okay, I, I don't know. No, it is. So, so we, you guys want to be cloning? Yes. What's your take on black-eyed children? They seem to be popping up a lot more in the world. Just, uh, the oil of the tube and. Uh, uh, well, it's. Uh, uh, here. Yeah, there, there's, there's no gone. spirit. Yeah. There's no spirit, so that would be a clone body. Wow. Turn your okay. head, and they're gone. Yeah. They can't even. Um, yeah. You had mentioned earlier about keys. If they're missing and you can't yeah. find them. That's an abduction. Like, what do you mean? Like, you just can't find your keys and then you found them? Yeah. Your teeth? Okay. Oh. Good example. Okay, so, so here you are, you know, for every day of your life, we'll say, or at least, you know, more recently, you, you can come home and you put your keys maybe on your, uh, you know, we'll say by your front door, right? You have a little thing with your front door and you put, put them on, you know, so you walk out the door, you grab them, right? And you get up in the morning and you get dressed up and you go out to your car. Where do my keys go? And, you know, you do this automatically every day, so it's not like, you know, like, like I'm done, I lost them, you know, they're, and then you look around, you can't find them, and then uh, a couple days later, you get up, and there they are. And you so, go, well, what if you were just absorbed in thought, you were multitasking, and you just had several things going, and you didn't do Well, that's a good excuse. <laughs> that's a good excuse, but, but, or you lose your shoes. Or you go out to a parking lot, right? And you come out to, you know, to get your car, and you walk down where you thought you put your car, right? It's not there. And then you got to try to figure out where your car is. Well, then you're abducted. Remember, are you here? How, how many times are you abducted as I've been talking here? Thousands, millions of times, because you're turned off and on, off and on, off and on. Okay. And so all of a sudden. In, in your consciousness, when you don't think that, when, when you're not here, you somehow get abducted onto that timeline to where your car is, okay, and then you bring that timeline back here, and voila, there's your car. You know, there's people that actually walk by their car, right, and they go back to the store and they try to get their composure, well, where did I put my car, and they walk down the same location, the same area down the road, and, you know, in the shopping center, and, and there's a car, and they go, wow, how did I get here, how did I miss it? Well, that they were abducted and they brought it back here. And, and that's, you know, I talk about people, you know, having things get beamed in. So how many of you have driven on the freeway, the highway, or even walking, and you want to do a left-hand turn on the freeway? There's no car there. You look in your mirrors, right? And no car is beside you. You start to turn over and one pops up. And they're honking at you. Or, or you want to do a turn and all of a sudden... Or you're walking and some, somebody appears behind you all of a sudden out of nowhere. Or in front of you. You blink your eye and where'd that person come from? Well, they just got dropped in from a timeline. So uh, I call that being, you know, drop, like, driving, you call, like driving into a billboard. You know, you're driving into the billboard of a consciousness of a hologram 
it looks like where you are right now, and you drive right into it. And all freeways have these on it. So if you're driving your car on a freeway or a road, and you notice that when you go there, you start yawning. You kind of get the awareness, like, you know, a mile ahead of you, but you don't know what it's going to be. But you kind of feel like something's happening up there. Then you start yawning. The last for about five minutes. That's when they abduct you. Okay. And you're still driving your car. You're still seeing the scenery around you. Why are you seeing the scenery? Because they made a hologram of that. And then you come back down again, and you, maybe your ears pop. And, or, or maybe you want to come here. You want to turn off on Century, right? And all of a sudden you're driving, and they abduct you before you get to Century. And you get popped in your car, and you're like five miles past this. And you go, how did I miss that turn? Well, you weren't here. So what are they doing with us when we're yeah. inducted? Yeah. What's happening? What are they doing with you? Well, yeah. they can be doing anything with you. <laughs> they can be taking sperm samples, you know, they can be taking your eggs, they can be selling you to other aliens. You're, you're being abducted and changing your physical body here as a human every 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes you're a different you. That gets really scary, okay? So what I'm going to do for you I'm going to put you back uh, to your last 10 minutes. I haven't done this before, no problem, you know. But I'm going to put you back and reboot you from the alien race that had you. So every 10 minutes, an alien race takes you and is in control of your body, your, your real estate, you. And they're getting your emotions for 10 minutes, whatever you're going through. And then Whatever you're doing at the end of the 10 minutes, it's like handing the baton off to, the, to a runner, you know. So the next alien race gets you and replicates you, and then they have you. So I'm going to reboot you all back 10 minutes ago. Where's your spirit in all this? Yeah. Your spirit your goes, soul. goes along. Where's your, your soul? soul? It goes along for the ride. Your soul doesn't have to go along for the ride. It's, well, that's... That's what happens. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to reboot, reboot you back 10 minutes ago. Okay, for the other alien race that had you. Okay, so how should I do it? Should I count to five so you can actually feel yourself change? Yeah. Okay, now here's what could happen. You could find yourself uh, heavier, thinner, taller. Uh, your temperature will change. Okay, so you're going to be a different you. So here we go. I'll count to five. One, two, three four and five there. Feel a little different? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you were actually, <coughs> in a sense, being a human clone. Okay, a replica. And so that's why well, when what, you talk to... What if you didn't feel any different? How many people felt a difference in here? Felt different or different? Uh, felt. <laughs> felt different. Well, that's the power of suggestion and hypnotic No, no, please, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so all the rest of us that didn't feel it. Just trying to yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, you, you may not feel it. But what I will do is an exercise here to make people real. So I'm going to describe that to you. Uh, you're probably uh, set up, we'll just, what I'll do is probably count to about 100 to 120 when I do this exercise. And each time I count, I'm taking the control away from the aliens that would have you for 10 minutes. So within maybe every uh, uh, one or two seconds, they're only going to have you for that amount of time. Now what they have to do now, when, when uh, we'll say I count from one, and I use the word one, now that alien race has you and they recreated you on a hologram, and you're here. When I hit two, they have to change it to another alien race and remake you. And you make the room over again, all the people in here, because you just can't banish everybody. You have to be in the hologram. So they have to create the whole hologram here. What will happen normally is people will change heights. Their hair color may change, or their face will make it, maybe get a little more tanner. It all depends, you know, what happens. At the very end, you're going to be the real you. Now, you're the real you uh, once a month, uh, maybe for a few hours. Now, that's when you have your inspiration. You, you wake up and you go, man, I'm going to... 
wash my car that I haven't washed for 10 years or whatever. I clean, I clean my garage, you know, and then maybe you take a nap or something, or the next day you wake up, you made all these plans, and you go, oh, forget it. You've all had that experience, right? Well, that's when you were real. So, what I think I'll do is do all of you, if you want to do This is your choice. So what I'll do first is, uh, uh, what I'll have the people over here, if you wish to do it, stand up, and I'll have the people over here watch you guys change. If you want to just kind of spread out a little bit. And if you feel your body changing or if you jerk, uh, that's just an indication that you're being recreated over again. Okay? So, you guys ready? She opted out. So, I'll start counting and I'll stop at 10. Should we close our eyes or? They'll just, just be who you are. And you may find, uh, I did one person in New York you know, out of a lot of people, but one actually, she lost like two inches on her waist. Her pants were falling down. <laughs> so, Montana, uh, uh, so a lot of you, you got to move yeah. that camera. Is a gentleman here who can move the camera over? Well, maybe not. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to start counting. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Anybody feel a slight change in their body? Do you feel a little different? I, okay. I, felt, I felt a pull. Something was pulling me forward. Okay. What well, normally happens is you're, you're, gonna, you're getting more spirit energy. You're getting the real you coming in, okay? Uh, normally you start feeling warmer. Okay. So here we go. So I'll, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. Are they starting to glow over here? The people sitting down? Because you're basically clones right now. You're a clone human. But they're glowing. Do they look different? Yeah. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Are we at uh, 70. 70? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 110. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 120. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 130. 1, 2, 3, there we go. Okay, ready to come in to be human? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There, now the programming's off you. Now look at each other. And then look at the people sitting over here. And most of the people will look like they're in a fishbowl, like they're on a movie set. <laughs> How should you look at them? How do they look? Do you see a, you see a change? Now look at each other. You're all going to have life force energy glowing. And the ones over here are going to look like, uh, like mannequins. <laughs> Zero. 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 Okay. How do you people feel? Feel more solid? Okay, warmer. Okay, you can sit down. Okay, now we'll do the people over here. Stand up if you wish. The reason why you're standing is because the people can watch you change. Okay, you can feel a difference in the energy in the room. We have a lot of energy over here, These are, right? And over here is like, so here we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I'll count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So anybody feel a little shift in their bodies? Okay, getting taller. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. Are you, are you guys watching them change? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 110. And one, two, three, four, there we go. So coming in, one, two, three, four, five there. So now we're all humans in here. 
Sit down. So how do you guys feel? Okay, so the next question is, is how long is this going to last, right? So uh, typically it could last maybe up to 10 days. Uh, when you start thinking a lot, then they'll get you on timelines. So you want to stay off of the timelines. How do you stay off the timelines? Uh, well, ideally you don't think. So you just brought us into presence, like quieted our minds. Oh, okay, yeah. No, you're in the now. You are real. Okay. Before then you were being programmed. Right now you're real. This is your, you know, you're connected to your spirit. You feel the energy in your bodies? Yeah. Okay. So, so this is the way you're supposed to be. Now when you start thinking, the thoughts will put you onto timelines. So, you know, you can naturally think. Okay, so I can't tell you not to think. You know, I don't think, but you may not be able to be where I am not to think. Okay, but I am talking. <laughs> okay, but I'm not thinking. This is it. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what it's like. So I'll, I'll put you on a zero timeline in darkness. Okay, so that's when time stops. So here we go. There. <coughs> Feel a little shift. Okay, so now you're in zero point, we'll call it uh, the timeline where it stopped. Now I'm going to put you where I live, okay, which is out of time completely. Here we go. Ready? There. Feel a slight change, a slight difference? There's no thought where I live. None. It doesn't even exist. That's source energy. But what if you have a job that requires you to think? Well, you can, you can think better when you're in your heart. Everything's available to you. So you can still think. Yeah. You, you can still... You can get the information, but it won't be thinking. But but to but to kind of give you the idea, you know, you do kind of think with your heart. Okay. Remember, you, you are doing something when you create. You know, you're an artist and you're painting, right? You are doing something there, right? And time stops. Well, but you're not thinking, are you? You're just intuitively, right? In a sense, grabbing something, different colors, and painting, and you get done, and it's done. And you have all the possibilities. So it's a hard transition. Uh, it may, may not be hard, but as you do it more and more, it'll become easier for you. Because you're going to be in peace. The whole thing is to get, get, get peaceful, to be in peace. That, that's who you are, is peace. Yes? Uh, what do you think of mindfulness? Think of what? Mindfulness, like meditation, and that. Oh, meditation? Uh, awareness type of thing. You, is that similar? Yeah, you, 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 you don't want to meditate. <laughs> because when you meditate, okay, when you meditate, what are you doing? It's mental masturbation, you know. You're going out someplace, and they're telling you where to go to. And you're going there in mind energy. And you're on timelines. But you're not supposed to think when you're meditating. And you can you on, balance. Yeah, but how do, you get in, how do you get into meditation? You're thinking. No, you, you do a, a blue sky screen so that there's no that's, thoughts at all. Yeah, but, you, the pull up, but the blue sky screen is mind energy. Yeah, right. No, that's just to get you started. That, and then yeah, that, well, that's your, that you, you're still, so you're in the blue sky, the blue sky screen in darkness in, in your meditative state. You're in mind energy. Why? You're not supposed to think anything when you're meditating. Mm -hmm. but so, you, that, so that quiet state go. that you're in, you're quiet all those thoughts, you're saying that's not good. No, when you do the mind of heart drop, you're in peace. 20 seconds, you're, you're in, in peace. You're in ecstasy in the heart thing, but in meditation, you're able to go to many different dimensions. Yeah, well, you're, you're on timelines. You just solved the question. When you meditate, you're on timelines going into multiple dimensions. Outside of here, you don't have to have time. You don't want to go outside of here. You're in time. No, you're, you're, saying, you're saying all the correct words, but you're not getting it. <laughs> you, you, you know, you're saying I'm going into all these timelines to become peaceful. No, you're not in timelines. Einstein was dyslexic as well, and he gave us a theory of relativity, and that time really is not important. So in that sense, yeah, but that's but still it's, mind energy. It's you're still from mind where energy. you are, your perception of that is where you are. Yeah, all you do is do the mind and heart drop, and you're in peace. You want, to, you want to be out time. You're in ecstasy with the heart. There's no such thing as ecstasy. Not in source energy. But the darkness will give you the warm, fuzzy feeling all the time. Source energy is nothing. <laughs> nothing. No thoughts, no nothing. Uh, yes? Um, I 
I've learned uh, that a technique to kind of disconnect from your thoughts is to first of all be aware of them and not to interact with them. Just it's the beginning thing, just to even understand that there's a difference. So it's like okay. you kind of just yeah. don't interact with it, it and then you can it, kind of disconnect from it. Well, you, you can disconnect to a certain yeah, extent. Yeah, language, yeah. Yeah, but, but, yeah. but you're still not in your heart. You see, you have to get with your spirit. I bet it's like a step for people in here that are kind of trying All to... All they have to do is, yeah, you don't need these steps. Just command your spirit to drop down the thoughts into your heart. No steps, really, just do that. Yeah, just do that. You know, otherwise you're going into some other other genre, some other modality, some other this, some other that, some other teaching. 20 seconds. You know, and you're there. So for, for, for those who are looking for, you know, um, divine inspiration um, and uh, guidance. No, yeah, yeah. If they're looking for that, they'll find it on timelines, but you won't get it out when you're in your heart. There's no such thing. But your heart leads the way. Your heart will put you into peace. Okay. And there's but, no communication with anything divine out there in peace energy. Okay, so we live here in this 3D physical dimension. And mm -hmm. therefore, there are, there are ways and means that we have to sustain ourselves. So therefore, you know, when we have different talents, skills, and abilities, we are oftentimes looking for divine guidance to hone those skills and those crafts and things in order to sustain ourselves um, uh, okay. and to provide service to others. Okay, but your divine guidance is timelines. There's, there's anything that you have read about, heard about, uh, divine intervention, divine guidance, all that is just the dark, dark side coming to you on timelines. Okay? So once you, once you, yeah, yes, go ahead, maybe. Uh, well, does this kind of explain, like, why there's a food chain, or why there's just, it just kind of seems at times it's kind of a sick game? It, it is a very sick game, yeah, uh-huh. Very sick, that's, that's why you want to get out of it. What's the end game, then? Are we source? The end, the end game is to leave the planet, uh, or to get rid of all the aliens here, so you can have peace. Is that our job as source to do that? Uh, no, not not your job. No. All right. So, what you want to get off is on timelines. You don't want to have any timelines, and there's really no divine intervention uh, because source energy cannot judge. Okay. Once you understand that, you, that the source is not judged, so that means that anybody that tells you something can help you. It's not that it's bad, okay, but it could put you into timelines. So it's really hard to understand what I'm talking about at first because what I'm doing is telling you everything that you have learned in the past has been a, been a lie basically to you. And you've, you've been living the lie, okay, and you need to realize that you are it. Anything outside of yourself is suspicious. Okay? Mm -hmm. And once you keep doing the mind to heart drop, you know, if you do it for a week, maybe five times a day, you're gonna catch on to what I'm talking about. Because all you really want is have all you want here is peace. You don't want to have any thoughts to to cause your emotions to get riled up inside of you. You don't want to live in duality. That's what I started off with was doing clearings to release some of your emotions so you can be more peaceful. And if you got if everybody in the planet did the mind to heart drop, you wouldn't have any wars. If people meditated, you wouldn't have any wars, even though you don't believe in it. It gives you great peace. Well, for you, maybe. Oh, but you're still on timelines. You're still going on on timelines. Mm -hmm. You get out of the timelines because you rise above the duality. But you're thinking, no, you're thinking. No, you're not it. thinking, you're just, you know. All well, you, timelines you, 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 you're, all, all timelines are, uh, yeah, all timelines are bad. Yeah, all timelines are bad because that's mind energy. Ron, how do you, how do you uh, free yourself from timelines? I know you have the timeline crashing on your website, but how do you know that, how many timelines you have and, and Okay, it, what okay. To do. so uh, on my website I have timeline crashing. So you get in there and see you have a situation going on in your life or something. It really has some kind of situation normally. And so then you replicate it on multiple timelines. 
So you go in there and you put that situation down and you keep crashing it. Maybe you do it 50 times, 100 times, and you're going to sort of know at the end if you're off that timeline or not because things will start to disappear because you're not drawing things to you. So when you do a timeline crash, we'll say that you uh, sprain your ankle. So you're on the sprained ankle timeline with probably a million other people, if not more, who had a problem with their sprained ankle. Uh, where are you on that timeline? Are you a brand new beginner on the timeline, or are you you're at the end of the timeline? Well, somewhere on the timeline is the alien creative source energy that created that timeline. So if you do a timeline crash, the light terminates the alien that created the timeline, and the timeline dissipates within probably about an hour. And everybody's freed up from that timeline. So it's just one timeline. So you could be out on a hundred of these timelines. Now, once you do the timeline crashes, then you're off of the timelines. So you identify problems in your life or things you don't want, and then you timeline crash the things you don't want. Yes, and you start feeling better. If somebody says, you know, you have some kind of illness, right, and you're in fear of it, then get on the timeline for fear and get off the fear timeline for that illness. I have a specific question on that. Yesterday you had recommended that to me, a specific one. So um, the question is on the timeline crash. I didn't have time this morning, but I went into the website to do the, the exercise or the meditate, whatever it is. And it started off and said 600 minutes, and then what's the? Okay, the 600 minutes. Do 600 oh, minutes. Okay, it it counts some? down from 600 minutes and goes down to zero. So the energy is active at that point to clear away what you're requesting. But you don't have to sit and be present. No, you don't have to sit. No, you just have the computer on. What I'll do, oh, I see. What I'll do now is energize the Merkaba. So I could have turned it on, maybe sat there for a while, and then got I'm on. sure I have people in here who are doing timeline crashes to have peace at the expo, to eliminate psychic attacks, uh, to have the space cleared. Okay? So. One quick question related yes. to that. Um, if there's someone, a loved one, and they're having an issue, can you go yes, and you can. crash timelines for someone else? Yeah. Okay. Just don't do the space time. What? Until, until they're sleeping. So here we go. You can watch the Merkaba here. And this is what you actually have. This is kind of what you'd look like in a sense, if you could see. So I'll just uh, energize this. And you can watch the colors change on it here. So here we go. And these I sell at the booth here. I'll do Jesus next here. So I'm putting source energy into this here. So you can actually see it vibrate. Anybody seeing the change on it? Okay, how's that? The same. Did you see the change? No. <laughs> I actually see more of it. More of it? I see more, li more lines than I realized the lines were there when I first looked at it. More defined? Okay, now I'll do Jesus here. You ready? website or, or you know here at the booth I mean booth 202 if you want to get a picture what I do is put source energy of that being into it for you then it stays that way and you can have it like on the refrigerator or wall or something what where do the what's your view on ascended masters archangels angelic kingdom things like that okay those, those beings were here once upon a time okay five minutes you know ten years whatever and they left there's nothing here of light on this planet as far as mass or anything else. So that's why you have ascension to get out of here. So those energies are only in the light of the darkness. In fact, what I'll do for you is uh, you probably maybe through your, your past teachings, you had somebody that you looked up to or prayed to to become prey. Okay, but 
I won't get into that. <laughs> That's another whole probably hour lecture. Remember when you pray, P R A Y, you're at P R E Y what you're praying to. Because you're telling them, what do you, what, you know, what do you do when you pray, right? Oh, please help me with this, right? You're asking for a favor, right? So you're asking to get into the duality of energies, right? The aliens know that you have a problem. Every church has their own alien uh, uh, god attached to it that you're connecting to, and they're programming you. Put an energy rod on the top too, don't they? Yeah, they got that. Yeah, that's why they have big steeples. What do you have yeah. an antenna, a cell phone tower, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, uh, but anyway, I want y'all all to, to get the deity or whatever it is that you you know went to church with. You know, you're probably out in the church, synagogue or something, uh, mosque, and just just. Think of that energy that you had back then, and then they'll bring in the same energy of light. So just think of it if you wish, that person. Unless you're on one of the planets that have rabbits. <laughs> okay, there we go. And I'll bring in the light version of that, and it'll be peace. So here we go. I'll count to five to command the energy. One, two, three, four, five. Do you feel the contrast, the difference on it? Remember, there's no thought in, in peace. And so peace cannot tell you what to do. Source energy can't tell you anything. So when you start connecting the dots and you go, gee, well, somebody is doing channeling or this or that or the other, or bringing in archangels and masters and doing healing, well, the source energy isn't doing it, right? Because it can't. Non judgment, okay? If they really understand this, if it can't do it, it doesn't come that way then who are they connecting to to help you? Or what are they connecting to? And how many timelines are you hooked up to? Okay? What attunements, what energy are they transmitting to you? So once you start really understanding what I'm talking about, you realize that what you've been told in this lifetime is a lie to you. You have it all with you. It's all inside of yourself little spirit, a little tiny piece of it, you know, it's all that you need. You've got a lot more, but each incarnation, the aliens steal part of you. So, any questions? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, guess the end okay. here first. Um, so, if I'm doing mind to heart drop consistently, did that in no way affect the time minute, 10 minute time sharing process? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, good question. Okay. So, we'll say that you did it for an hour. So, ideally, you'd be abducted every... 10 minutes, so six times in an hour. So if you did it and you stayed in peace, yeah, they're not going to want you in peace. Okay. Remember, the aliens do not want you if you're in peace because you're not running a duality program. Does that make sense to you? Yep. Okay, so when you're thinking and you go and you get that phone call from somebody, you know, my dog got run over, or my child broke her arm, that puts you under that timeline. And now your body energy, your emotions will take off, and now they got you. That's why I have emotional clearance on my website. So I give a $50 discount. I cap it off at $300, just $5 times your, your age. So the most it costs is 250 bucks. It takes about 20 minutes to do, and your emotions are cleared in this lifetime. This is your karma. Using a different way of talking, okay? So which one is it called? Emotional clearing? Emotional clearing. Whole lot of emotional clearing. How do you do that for when you go to sleep so they don't nail you in here? Uh, that's a hard one. That, that's yeah. really a hard one. So uh, what happens when you're sleeping or before you go to sleep, uh, the aliens will attempt to connect to your body. So normally they work with your feet. So if you have any pinpricks uh, on your feet or on your legs or something, they're trying to get you. Or your body jerks, you know. I had one person who, uh, her house was sort of contaminated, you know. It, it, somehow, maybe she opened up a vortex or something. But anyway, they would come in and she'd see them in the ceiling and they'd try to do different things with her sexually and everything else. And so she said, well, I'm going to move to a different location. Well, she moved and they didn't get her for quite a while. And then she found a boyfriend. <laughs> and she went over to stay with the boyfriend, and all of a sudden she's laying down in bed with him. All of a sudden his body starts jerking, you know, and she goes, "Oh no, they got him!" You know. <laughs> so it's uh, so yeah, it, it's hard. What you can do, uh, which could help you, you can go to Lowell's and 
maybe Home Depot too, but Lowe's has it for sure. You can buy that uh, water heater foil. It's like a uh, maybe quarter inch thick. Uh, I think it's like maybe three or four foot high, 50 feet in length, maybe 30 bucks, something like that. And if you're under attack, you can put make a little pup tent out of it, put it over your bed, put it on your walls around you, and it can help. Okay. Uh, I was doing a lecture in, uh, uh, probably 10 years ago back in New York, and I had a taxi cab driver who would see me. I was talking about, well, you can do that, and I mentioned about tin foil, you know, or, or aluminum foil. So he had his little baseball hat on, and he was under attack a lot, so he just put the foil up in his hat, but it was really hot. And he says, yeah, it stopped. So you really, you know, it's hard to uh, get rid of them, okay? And normally they'll pick family lines. So if you think you're under attack or you have problems, and they do have a clearing on the website, it's 30 bucks a month for alien attack, you know? But uh, there's a bunch of stuff in there. It's, it's very, very complex. Or, I won't say complex, but it's, it's thorough. It's thorough, yeah. So the, uh, do that, but the main thing is if you have a tax, your parents had it, so they're just trying to check you out. And uh, you know, that, that's, that's like I could probably talk for 50 hours on alien stuff. I don't want to drop the energy too much in here, you know, because yeah. you are human. So when you go out of the room here, I don't know how much time we have that, but when you go out of the room, look at first take a note of everybody in here because you're all human right now. And when you go out of that room and you start looking at people. They'd be like they're in a fishbowl, like they're on the movie set, and you're just watching them. And it's going to be very eye awakening for you to see clones, human clones, or real clones. But would clones be attracted to coming to an event like this? Uh, if they have the curiosity to do that, yeah. Uh huh. Remember, they need to get their databases filled. Remember, they're brand new. Uh, yes? Um, on the paper, I've, I've never followed your work, I've never heard of you. I just read you on the, uh, the, the booklet. It says something about eye implants. Oh, perfect. Something. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. I'm curious about it. This is fine. So, uh, how much time do we have left? 20 minutes. Wow, wonderful. Great. So, uh, I'm in New York, right? And one of my friends, uh, this is probably 10 years ago, he goes, Rod. My, he's has a broken English. It's wrong my, my eye, it's uh, just not right. You work on it for me. Okay. So I look at his eye, you know, and I go, boy, you have something in your eye, you know. And there's one other person with me, right? So he, he's here, I'm here, and my other friend is over here. So there's three of us, right? The go, let me check. So I, let me see around here. Ah, got it on. Eye implant. And his eyes are, are brown, right? <laughs> the eye that I took the implant out, turned black. And I look at it, and my other friend over here looks at it, both look at each other like, holy shit, you know? <laughs> and, and he goes, I can see better. I go, yeah, but your eyes black, you know? <laughs> and so after about 20 minutes, it, it came brown again. And then he also had an ear implant. So how does this happen? Why does it happen? Uh, how are you being used? You know, I don't know. You know, I don't have that, that answer. There's always that question, why? Well, it just shit happens, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. So uh, left eye first. Here we go. Let the connect all of you here. And almost. There we go. Got gotcha. you. Okay, here we go. On the count, uh, just got to get it loose here a little bit. Agent. <laughs> Ready? There. How's that? That's the left eye. That's the left eye. Good. How do you feel? I kind of watery. You feel a little different. I felt a shift. Felt a shift. Okay. Now we'll do. You feel your eyes relaxed. I relax. Okay. Now we'll do the right eye. So maybe they're just using you for remote viewing. You know, they want to see who's here. You know, in your life. Your right eye here. Oh, a few people have a couple <laughs> double cameras. Interesting. So for the ones that have two, I'll have to do it twice here. So here we go. Ready? There. I'll do 
it again here. If people have two. Ready? There. Calls that. Still the same. Much clearer. Much clearer? Yeah. Anybody want to comment? Felt it in my ear. No. Felt it in your ear? And no change. No change, okay. The eyes are refocusing. I felt the pinch in your ear. Pinch in your ear, okay. I'll, I'll do. Uh, Ear implants here. So I put a little microphone in there. Ready? Uh, left ear. Entering the sci fi world here. <laughs> and I'm going to leave. <laughs> On your implants. <coughs> there we go. Okay. How's that feel? I'm sure you probably can't tell your neighbors about this. <laughs> And now do the other ear here, right ear. Oh. There. <laughs> okay. Now I'll do an implant that would be on the back of your necks, okay? Uh, I don't know what it does. I'm just picking it up right now for people here, so here we go. Foggy feeling, and we know that we're being abducted. Essentially, is there any way to stop it? No, just try to hold your consciousness. Okay, yeah. breathe. Yeah. What, what if it's just your blood sugar dropping? You're tired. <laughs> <laughs> then you can do your life force energy. Everybody, stand up. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. So, so I can only teach a few things here. So one is the mind to heart drop, which I hope you do all the time. The other one is when I when I take your hands and put them, uh, put your hands, kind of in front of you. And you can feel like a ball tension, your chi energy, whatever you want to call it, light force. And you can just kind of feel that invisible ball spring. Now what you want to do is command your spirit to do this, but you just say to your body, I now increase my light force energy. So say it once. I now increase my life force energy. And you don't want to do this here like you're a little butterfly, you know. <laughs> because you're trying to build energy, okay? So just kind of sample it. And now put your hands further apart and come in. And at some point you're going to feel that energy expand, okay? Because it just increased. I'll say it again. I now increase my life force energy. Put your hands further apart and come in. Everybody's a little different. That's what your body tells you. I now increase my life force energy. And you can drop them if you're all the way out here. This is just an indication for you that it's working. So here we go. I now increase my life force energy. We'll do it five times. I now increase my life force energy. I now increase my life force energy. I now increase my life force energy. 
I now increase my life force energy. Okay. So you should feel a little more centered, a little more energy in your body. You can sit down if you wish. But you don't want to do this while you're driving. No. Well, you can say it though without you using your hands. You know, so first kind of practice it so you, so you know that it works, you know. And then after that, just say it. Uh, if you say it a hundred times, you're going to feel your body maybe shake a little bit because you're getting rid of energy blockages. A thousand times, you, you, well, probably about every 50 times, you're going to feel a shift. Let's just say it out loud here. We'll do it uh, 10 more times. Just, just see if you feel a little different. I now increase my life force energy. 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 One more. I now increase my life force energy. Did anybody feel a little shift? Yeah. Looks like you got wakened up a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. And then you should be able to hear if you wanted to check. You know. <coughs> now, what you want to also do is you don't want your auric field to go outside of your body. Because when you have it outside of your body and somebody walks by, say, with a headache, you could draw that headache to yourself or their emotions are being attached to you. So you want to do what, what I call a shrink wrap. And you just tell your body, this is not your spirit, your body. Remember, it's, it's a different consciousness. Just tell your body to bring its energy, force field, to your skin. And you do that, and you're self-contained, and the energy won't be going out. So when you shake hands, you hug somebody, which is a social thing here. I do it, but I'm, I'm, I'm not in time. So when you're shaking hands in time, you're bringing all their time energy, all their stuff, which is in time, right? All your karma is, is in time, right? And you're shaking hands and you're exchanging energies. And you're getting their karma. So this is not your aura. That's not your aura, okay. no. It could be in a sense, but it's, you know, I don't want to you know, okay. kind of get in there. You just want your body energy to come right to you. So when you shake hands, you're picking up somebody else's emotional garbage. You hug somebody. So that's one of those things that people have a hard time not wanting to do. You can do a little prayer thing, you know. And they'll you know, back off, you know. And uh, so that does help. Uh, once you do a few clearings and you find out what's really going on and the alien critters that are inside of you, which I don't, haven't talked about, but you know, uh, once you get this stuff out of you, then you're going to want to not really connect with people on, you know, shaking hands or hugging because you don't want to get contaminated over again. In fact, what I'll do for you, uh, you probably all shook hands, right, with somebody in the last day or something? Okay, so we'll first do the shaking of hands. So, what hand did you use? Right hand, okay. I'm going to take the energy out of your right hand from the last person that you shook hands with. What if we like that energy? Well, it may be good energy, but it's still contaminated. It's still not peace energy, right? It has what an emotion they, to it. you were like, shook your hand real peacefully? <laughs> well, we'll see how it feels. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. So just, just, just get that person there. You know, they're shaking your hand, right? I'll count to five to release the energy. One, two, three, four, five. There. Now, how does your hand feel? Does it feel a little clearer, a little lighter? So they gave you something. They slimed you. Okay, now we'll do uh, somebody that you maybe did this to a week ago. Okay, so think back a week. If you're in the moment, the week doesn't exist. <laughs> anyway, here we go. So we're releasing it. One, two, three, four, five. There. And you probably hug somebody. Okay, here we go. Releasing that energy. One, two, three, four, five. And again, one, two, three, four, five. And now what we're going to do is you, people always bump into people, right? Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so kind of remember when you got bumped into last. And it's probably here a lot of people, right? It's real common. They stepped on your toe or something. 
So think of that situation. And I'll just click it here away. Ready? Get rid of that energy that they gave you. There. Okay, do it again. You got two feet stepped on. Again, one more time. And again, there. Feel a little better? Because they actually like impregnated you with their stuff. Now what happens if I were to shake hands with somebody else in this room specifically and more hug them? Try it. <laughs> yeah. Take somebody next to you, because you're all human right now, and you can just see how it feels, and then we'll discharge the energy. Does anyone just touch somebody or not? <laughs> okay, and here we go. We'll just take away the energy. You ready? Here we go. There. Feel a little different? I'll do it again here. There. So, I won't ask for any comments here. But, uh, <laughs> yes? A uh, question about timelines and um, abductions. Do we all get abducted the yes. same number of times? Uh, uh, well, every 10 minutes you are, for sure. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah, Everybody. Do you? How do you know 10 minutes? So, oh, well, how do, how do I know 10 minutes? That's what it worked out to. I was checking out. Uh, I first got 10 minutes. I'm in the now, right? So what I get, what I get is what's happening. And I thought, well, well, why not? You know, nine minutes, 50 seconds. So I went and tried to check that energy. I thought, oh, wasn't there. And 10 minutes, 10 seconds, wasn't it? 10 minutes. So somehow you're on a 10 minute clock. Oh, clocks. Okay. So the ideal thing, everybody sees numbers, right? The typical like 12, 12, 11, 11, right? Yeah. That's your program number from some alien group, okay? Or maybe they have that same number. So, you really don't care what time it is, you know, realistically, you know, right? So, all of a sudden, you're, you're doing something and, and your body turns, right? So, look at that clock over here and your head goes down. Oh, it's on 11, 11 again. Well, you didn't really want to do all that. So, that's the validation that the aliens have you hooked up for a program. May not be, you know, could be the 1111 program, maybe some other program, you know, or the 111, but it doesn't, doesn't matter, but they got you. That's their validation. Remember those little cameras in your eyes, you know? <laughs> so that's the validation that you are hooked up. And there's books out there, you know, that different numbers mean different things. Well, it doesn't make any difference. You're hooked up because you really didn't plan to see 1111 or whatever number you're looking at, right? Unless you have an appointment, right? And you have to be at a certain place at a certain time. That's the clock is used for. So just to spontaneously look at a clock and get that same number means that they have you. So, so when you see it, is there something that you can think or say to, to break that, to, to launch that? Uh, one person was very interested. They said, well, what I'm doing now is taking my digital clocks with some tape on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't flip. Analog is okay. Analog is okay, yeah, or the high sign or something. You need to give them okay. <laughs> yes. So if we're all getting abducted, you know, the same time, the same frequency, how does oh. that work when they, they go from one alien to another? Oh, okay. Another? Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's, the 10 minutes is how they're controlling you, but they can time share you in that 10 minutes. So, We'll just say that there's hypothetically one alien race having you for 10 minutes. Now, in that 10 minutes, they can time share you. They can time share your real estate. You, you could be out on a thousand other timelines with other, other alien races. So, and they can replicate you out. And so you could be dealing with a thousand races anytime. And what happens is when you're on a timeline, they, well, well, they only want you because you're in emotions. They gave you emotions to abduct you. So when you're having your emotions, then you have a problem because they're stealing your life force energy. Do the alien entities have a soul that will... Oh, okay, okay. Uh, brought back to source? Or no, no, well, most of the aliens that are stealing you don't have a spirit because they want to get that spirit energy. Okay, I use the word spirit in place of soul. Soul's a duality. 
that's what the aliens gave you as a soul. Your true spirit energy is a peace energy. Okay, so your soul is what's reincarnating, which is really your spirit, but it got brainwashed in a sense, and it got contaminated because you're thinking here and you're contaminating your spirit. Okay? And you only have a block of time every 2,000 years to leave here. Because the light just gives you free choice, free will. But because of the contamination that's here, somehow they chose 2,000 two years to, to do the cycle change. Where they turn the light off and everybody can leave. So, so do they have, they have a spirit? Or they have Most aliens that are dealing with you do not. But there are aliens that do. Which alien race are the ones that's doing this? Oh, you, there's there's, there's name, lots of them. Just name a couple. Uh, well, let's see, uh, Palladians, you know, Nocturians, you know, well, all the ones people talk about here. They're all in the in the pecking order. If you've heard about the aliens, the name the name of an alien race, they are in duality because you know about them. Can you talk about keywords? Keywords, yeah, yeah. Keywords uh, is what they use to program you. And so there's different keywords out there that everybody uses. Uh, boy, what would be a good keyword? Anybody have a good keyword that everybody uses? Wow. Time. Time is you can't get away from time, so that's a keyword. Okay? Love. Wow, you know, you, your phone rings, hello. Those are all keywords, and those keywords they can tap into and abduct you or connect to you through those keywords. Just think of the, the sports games, you know, and you watch something on TV and you hear all the crowds, you know, making noise, you know, when somebody makes a play or whatever, you know, it sounds the same to you. It's all the same chatter. Well, well, they can go into that and transmit their mind control energies like a carrier wave on top of what people are doing there. And then you have the psychic attacks with everybody. You have people on the left side of the bleachers and the right side, right? Yeah. <laughs> and they're, they're giving all their mind energy to the football players and they catch the ball. And the other side is doing, oh, I hope he trips and falls or kills himself, you know? You know, know how it goes, right? You know? And uh, the poor players are really being used, you know? Plus, when you look at that guy catching the ball, now you're getting psychically attacked because you have all those people those thousands of people doing that energy to them, and you happen to join into it. Because you've connected, put your consciousness there. Another way of looking at it, it's kind of scary that way too, you know. Mm -hmm. So what didn't I cover? Did we pass everything out? Well, so, so they don't play football in heaven? Yes. They don't. <laughs> okay, so, so what I have, I have a website that's interactive. I have all my clearings on it. If you want to go to it, uh, I have a lot of free alien clearings on there. Uh, what you need to get out of here is two basic things. One thing for sure, you need to get your spirit barcode taken off of you. That's the first thing, so the aliens can't track your spirit at ascension time. Because see, the light doesn't know who you are. Okay, the light is free will, free choice, and when the light does the ascension time, it turns out the light, looks for light particles, right, in a sense, and it grabs them, and then you would go to your home base energy, the light gets turned on at some point in time. I have to use the word time because that's how we can talk about. And then the whole universe of light is expanded out again and you choose where you want to go to. Well, what happened last time is when the light got turned off, the dark side took people here and just put them into an artificial cloned planet Earth. Then it got turned back on again and they did the, the Sufi Sail Shuffle back here again. And they're living here now in uh, on the earth, you know? Well, the earth is no longer going to be here. This what is about, it. What about all the other life forms on earth? I mean, just the, the biology of... Uh, oh, they, they have spirits and the light hits it. The, the light, everything here created from the earth has a spirit in it. Trees have spirits, little animals have spirits, and everything has spirits, you see. And then you have ones you can't see. What Nature spirits and things. Or, I mean, which, how do they relate to us, I guess? Did the aliens mess with them? Did they create all that? The aliens only want you because of your emotions and your pain, physical pain. So, and, and you bought into their system. That, that's the way I look at it. You, you people bought into mind energy. <clears throat> you trained into it. Yeah, got trained into it. Got schooled into it. Okay. And, and they, 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 yeah, you contracted. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> contract law. Okay, you contract it into it. So now you want to uncontract out of it, and you don't want to think, but you want to get into source energy. So this is going to sound really strange to you. Well, you can probably walk out of here and feel like what happened, you know. But do the mind a heart drop and keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And then you're going to find yourself get a day planner so you can show up on time. Okay, because after you do it a lot, you may lose track of an hour. It might be an appointment, you know, that you lost. But keep doing it. And then you're going to hit a point where all of a sudden you're in spirit energy, in source energy, and you're going to start to think a little bit. But you're in source energy thinking. It's, it's hard to describe this, okay? Just, just like you do when you're painting and you're washing your car or whatever you're doing and time stops for you, you're going to find yourself in there and you can manifest in that point. Because now you're in source energy manifesting. Okay? And you do it all the time to set you don't know how to really get into it, and you're so used to mind energy. But the aliens only want you because you basically are thinking, and that causes duality, and that causes you to have emotions. So if you want to get out of here with your body, then you must start to do your emotional clearings. You need to get your emotions out of you. So if you don't want to be really be abducted, I can't say 100%, but if you don't want to have abductions happening to you, you must do your emotional whole lifetime clearing. That's what Jesus did. In the Bible, they talk about him taking away your sins. And that's what he did, emotional clearing to get rid of the stuff that got out of you. Oh, one more minute, okay? And so you have to do that clearing. It takes 20 minutes. BBS Radio. Talk about your radio oh, yeah, show. yeah, radio programs, bbsradio.com, four shows a week, Creation Lightship Healing, and probably over a 1,000 archives since like 2006, into 2006 and uh, four shows a week, <coughs> uh, a lot of radio programs, and just listen to them. So have, have, you been on, the, have you been on Red Ice Creations? No. So anyway, go there, 